Good You're morning, welcome with your to couple. <laughs> <laughs> Chikodi. <laughs> okay, good morning, welcome to Kakaki Social. I am Ohimaya Amaize. This is the segment of the show where we spotlight the issues that shape conversations in the Nigerian social media. Former President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan broke the internet yesterday, literally shut down the Nigerian social media. Uh, the hashtag for his book launch, My Transition Hours, was trending at number one spot for so many hours yesterday. The creme de la creme of the Nigerian political space converged on the Congress Hall of Transco Hilton Hotel yesterday uh, to celebrate his 61st birthday with him. And also, uh, it was an occasion to launch his new book, which captures moments of his, uh, the significant uh, decision that he took when he stepped away from power after losing the 2015 presidential elections. Uh, let's go to the social media and take a look at how that generated some talk in the social media. From Premium Times, we saw this report yesterday. Obasanjo Oshomoli, Atiku, Others attend Good Luck, Jonathan's book launch. Of course, it was a gathering of heavyweights yesterday. The who is who, everybody was there. Of course, uh, and uh, yesterday, of course, was his birthday as well. It was also an opportunity for some of his fans and supporters to uh, wish him happy birthday uh, on the social media from Akai Bube, the statesman. We saw this tweet. He is a club legend. He is the Ballon d'Or winner 2010 2015. He is the MVP of democracy. He gave the most assists for credible elections in 2015. He is the highest goal scorer for rule of law. He is the GOAT. And of course, if you are wondering what that means, the greatest of all times. He is G.E. Jonathan. Good, happy birthday to the legend of democracy. And from work list, we saw the street. Obasanjo wrote a bestseller book, My Watch, when he left office. Jonathan has written a potential bestseller book, My Trans Transition House. When Buari leaves office in 2019, he'll write the bestest bestseller book titled How to Become Nigeria's President Without Certificate. <laughs> Trust Nigerians to bring some humor into uh, former President Jonathan's book launch yesterday. Mr. A.D. tweeted, said, Seems many of those present at the My Transition Hours launch are people who betrayed Jonathan when he needed them the most. Truly, the man truly has a very benevolent spirit. Hopefully, he'll still get the Nobel Peace Prize one day. From Mr. ID, we saw that tweet from Enyo Momo. Isn't politics laughable? These politicians went against GEJ, denied Nigerians a selfless leader, a growing economy, and a better nation. Today, they stand shamelessly to hail and testify to those finest hours they turned the Nigerian people against. Tears. <laughs> Hashtag my transition hours. From Chris Rex Collins, we saw the tweet. President Buhari missed a golden opportunity to prove to Nigerians and the world that he is a statesman missing Jonathan's book launch. My Transition Hours was one of his greatest undoing. And then also from Charlie Two Time, if President of Sudan was launching a book, I bet you Buhari would have attended in person. Hashtag My Transition Hours. Nigerians are uh, talking about uh, the book launch yesterday that broke the internet. Uh, one picture that surfaced yesterday was the picture of Adam Sushomole uh, stepping into the arena of that book launch. It caused quite a stare. And this was the moment Oshomole met with Saraki. And Nigerians have captions for this very picture you are watching and seeing on your screen. Let's take a look at how some Nigerians have captioned, captioned this very picture. You can see Atiku in the background. And then uh, from Star Life, we saw this tweet. When you finally get to see the man who has been threatening to retire you politically. <laughs> Hashtag my transition hours. Of course, there's something just remarkable about this look on Saraki's face uh, while he was shaking hands with Oshomole from Ozossi Christian. The look on Atiko's face, the smile on Saraki's face and Oshomole's presence in this photo tells me something. Hmm. What exactly? What is really going on? Okay, Noni EDC tweeted and said, Saraki's face and smiling as if he and Oshomole have a hidden plan. Well, who knows? Politicians are capable of anything. <laughs> Still on that uh, picture from uh, O Aigbe, we saw O Aigbe, we saw the street. Hashtag my transition hours. This picture is important for two main reasons. One, never take side with any politician. All politicians are on one side and party. Two, politicians only fight on pages of newspapers, but their supporters kill one another and leave sorrow and blood. Hashtag Nigeria Decides 2019. Of course, several headlines have been popping out of the book launch yesterday. One of the very famous headlines trending also on social media. 
how Obama plotted my defeat in 2015. Good luck, Jonathan. These are details uh, according to Premium Times from the book that was launched yesterday. And then um, we saw some reactions to this very story. But we'll take just one tweet. Let's take a look at the next uh, slide. We captured the reaction to the story we just uh, saw in Premium Times uh, from Rapture 0077. Dear Barack Obama, I hope you read the book written by former president of Nigeria, Good Luck Jonathan, and see the disaster you brought on the most populous black nation in the world. Uh, commentary yesterday flooding the social media on my transition hours written by pres former president good luck Ebele Jonathan and of course uh, we also saw this headline cut cuts of the cable Buhari saying that uh, Jonathan is a true Democrat he will rise again and I thought I saw his social media comment saying was he on the ground before <laughs> okay <laughs> President Buhari also wished him a happy birthday yesterday. In an official, in a tweet on his official handle, he said, Happy birthday to former President Dr. Goodluck Ibele Jonathan. I joined millions of Nigerians in sending warm greetings to him as he turned 61 today. I pray that the Almighty God will grant him long life and good health and continue to bless him and his family. Uh, accolades to former President Goodluck Jonathan yesterday as he turned 61 and launched his new book. Albi is a Kwesili presidential candidate. Uh, is fighting for Nigeria. <laughs> she launched her campaign officially on Twitter on Sunday. And uh, with a tweet and a video, let's take a look at how that is uh, gaining some traction. Uh, Obi Ezek's tweet and said, As we kick off our campaign officially today, we start with a Thanksgiving service for the grace to embark on this hard task of rescuing our country for the wisdom and the guidance here. And still to come, we give thanks. Hashtag fight for Niger, hashtag eight formally begins. And then, of course, in another tweet, which has a video we'll see very shortly, she said, but we don't need just one champion. This is not just about Obi is a question. We need many more champions. In fact, we need to be each other's champions. Let's take a look at this video and how Nigerians are reacting to Obi is a question's presidential aspiration. Nigerians, we have reached the point of no return. The out of school children, need a champion to fight for them. Our brothers and sisters across the north and the south being slaughtered while our government watches and makes excuses, they need a champion to fight for them. Our small business owners whose businesses are not being funded with government loot need a champion to fight for them. Our army of unemployed young people who are depressed and about to give up need a champion to fight for them. Our patriotic fighting soldiers who are up laboring under difficult conditions to keep us safe need a champion to fight for them. But we don't need just one champion. This is not just about Obi Ezebus. Okay, we don't need just one champion. From Archibald Baraya tweeting this statement here, but if Nigerians will embrace the thoughts expressed here by OBSX, I can bet with everything I am that Nigeria would be the pride of the world. We don't need one superhero. We need to be each other's cheerleader. We need a cheerleader in chief. From Archibald Baraya, we saw that tweet reacting to OBS Equestrian Lisa Post and from Sam Julius. Ma, you contributed to bringing this menace called change. They are not as gentle as GEJ. Every one of your supporters knows you can't win this one. I encourage you not to spend too much on this. Kindly consider being articulated to form a stronger alliance. Uh, words of advice to Obi is equally there. Whether she will take that advice, we, yeah, we would, would see. Millie Flames are tweeting said that, no be say you know qualify. But the truth be say, I doubt you winning a polling unit. Talk less of a local government. Sorry, but use the campaign fund for charity. Millie Flames there from uh, Gaji Abacha. Uh, remember, as a Minister of Education, that you plan to sell federal government secondary schools and tech schools. Thank you. Thank God you have not succeeded. As a minister, you were power drunk, confused and incompetent. Hence, your decision to sell the schools. Uh, people taking shots also at Obi is equally. And of course, we are now back to uh, matters relating to the PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar. Meme Central NG is back on Atiku's case. They posted this video. Atiku, your story isn't adding up. Let's take a look at this short video.
Okay, I hear they are, we're having technical issues with that video. There's no sound on it. Uh, but we'll move on to other issues that were trending on the social media yesterday. Okay, first of all, was here yesterday to talk about uh, the President Buhari's uh, re-election campaign and this issue of the Next Level campaign logo that was reportedly plagiarized or stolen from the Winthrop Institute uh, in the United States of America was talked about yesterday on the show. It has also filtered into the social media again. The conversation has continued. Let's take a look at how the cable reported it yesterday. The cable actually filed the report on Festus Kayamo's appearance here on AIT on Kakaki yesterday. Uh, let's take a look at that report from the cable and how Nigerians uh, were reacting to the issues arising from that report. Kayamo, PDP supporters designed the Next Level logo tweeted by Buhari. That's from uh, the cable. Uh, let's take a look at how Nigerians are talking about this. Uh, also from this Twitter user, NP on the video. Kayamo on AIT Kakaki clarifying the next level NG logo misconception that PDP and their supporters are manipulating on social media to mislead people. Watch the video and educate yourself or you can allow those that are known to be fraudulent to keep misleading you. Let's take a look at the video and some of the comments that followed. That they said yesterday on social media that was identity theft. So it is important you show this to the Nigerian people. You must zoom on this. What's, what's look, the at look at this. Look at this. Look at Look at the next level. Thank you so much. Yes. You see that it is totally different from what they are showing. Look at our official, official logo. Look at this. 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 Look Went to steal a logo, crafted it as if our own, as, as if it's our own, promoted it on social media that we stole, and it, whereas it has nothing to do with our documents. Mm. So there, there's a clear, there's a difference. Look at it now yourself. I'm Look at it yourself. It, it's upside down. I'm trying to. Are you seeing it yourself? Are you seeing it yourself? Mm. Fraud. Fraud going on. Okay, so that that's okay now. We have it on. on the, um, let me move to the social yeah, media. One. Go oh. back to the social media and what you show the, the logo. Okay. Yeah, like the, 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 the arrow that goes up comes from the V in the other one. Okay. The arrow that goes up okay. comes from the V. It's, it's on the screen. It's on the screen. screen. Are you seeing the difference? Okay. Are you seeing the fraud going on? Okay. On social, on social media. media. Yes, by the by PDP supporters. <laughs> but you might agree that there's a close similarity. But you know that it's different. They are but different. But that's what they say. You know it's different. Mm. This is fraud they are perpetuating for the Nigerian people. Okay, yeah. even on your original documents, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a difference in what we saw on social media. Totally. Okay, so that's why... These are our original documents. Mm. So that's why we have uh, the, the media mainstream it's to, fraud. to look at all these issues. Now yeah. let's go there's into... There's no identity nothing like that. Okay. Mm. Secondly, <laughs> secondly, I must start from the video. The video, yes. And I want to repeat it on air. Okay, <laughs> Festus, Festus Kayabo came here yesterday uh, to accuse PDP supporters on the social media of uh, fraudulently manipulating the Next Level logo. But was that really what happened? Let's take a look at this tweet from Jack Dre O2. Festus Kayabo went on TV to accuse PDP of creating that logo when Buari's official Twitter account posted it first. How does that add up? Who is this guy? From Jack Dre O2 and then from Rolex 7 Mike. Dear brother Festus Kayamo, since you claimed on AIT Kakaki that it was PDP who redesigned your original logo and called us fraud. Okay, Buari is also a PDP member, she. This is the same logo you claimed is not for the APC. Oga, days of propagandist campaigns are over. Be good. As a matter of fact, the president's handlers and actually the president's official handle tweeted this very logo first. Let's take a look at... Uh, the next tweet uh, from this is Bashir Ahmad. Bashir Ahmad is the new media aide of President Muhammad Buhari. In his verified Twitter account, shared this very item with Nigerians on Sunday, way ahead of the launch of this campaign. So, Festus Kayamo, you are not correct to say that Nigerians on social media manipulated that logo. These are the facts. President Buhari's official handle shared that same logo itself. We are committed to deepening the work we started in this first term, such that Nigeria's assets and resources continue to be organized and utilized for the good of the common man. Join Prof Oshiba and join I on this journey to the next level of a prosperous, strong and stable Nigeria. That is the logo there. So it wasn't manipulated at all. Uh, what probably has happened right now is that there are two different logos for the next level campaign that were released by the presidency. 
and we move on to Instagram, where we saw this video of Patience Ozokwa uh, that is trending, and Tun Todike disagrees with what she says. She said that if you are born again, your wardrobe must change. Tun Todike thinks differently. But let's take a look at the video and some of the comments that followed on Instagram. The Lord said should come back. The church should be separate from the world. Let us know who you are. By the way, if you have repented and you have not changed your wardrobe, you still have a long way to go. Mm. The case said, with all due respect, Mama Biko, run your race. Salvation is personal and it's not seen in no Bible. It's this local way of viewing Christianity that actually corrupts the house of God with polluted message. Too much love for you, Mama, but you are wrong. If anyone decides to serve God in rags, designers, hair or no hair, knock yourselves out. Nigerians reacted to that on Instablog Niger yesterday. Let's take a look at some of the comments uh, on that uh, matter between Ton Todike and uh, Mama G. Kaini tweet posting on Instablog said, Mama G did not see anything wrong, but guilty conscience won't let Ton to have rest. Salvation and indecent dressing don't go together. From Teggy Wales, everybody should do their Christianity how it pleases them. On the last day, we will all face God individually. So all this who is right and who is wrong is wasting of precious time and data. And uh, from uh, on year underscore E, dressing in a decent manner is what Mama G is talking about. If your wardrobe contains clothes that will make others sin, change that wardrobe. Tonto, drink cold water and think again. Don't jump into conclusion because if you claim to be God's servant, you will totally understand what Mama G is saying. And one more comment on that issue from uh, Dokito Savage. Uh, Don't to let, is this not the same Mama G you were dancing Kukere in her music video back then? I thought she brought you to the limelight. Haba, she wasn't even talking to yourself. You didn't need to respond to her post in a public forum. Come, Tonto, you need to stay off social media. You are becoming a celebrity news and honestly. Okay, and yesterday was a sad day in the Nigerian media space, media and entertainment space actually, as OAP Tosin Bokno uh, news featured into the social media yesterday that she had passed on actually on Monday at uh, the young age of 37. Uh, her husband, French national Aurel Mboya, had returned home from work and met her dead. Uh, she was a very beautiful personality. She, was, she brought a lot of happiness to a lot of people. Uh, the entire entertainment industry was thrown into mourning. Uh, yesterday, we saw some tweets and reactions. Let's take a look as we wrap up this segment of Kakaki Social. Gone too soon, Tosin Buckner, her elder sister, posting on Instagram, said, Hmm, my heart is heavy, but in all things we give thanks to God. My darling sister and besto, Tosin, passed away last night due to complications from sickle cell. Love you. And um, let's take a look at how the entertainment community reacted yesterday. Inspiration FM, where she worked as an OAP, posted this. On behalf of IFM and all the OAPs, we regret to announce that our sister, friend and family member, Tosin Buckner, has passed on. And the uh, accolades and tributes have been pouring all through yesterday. Let's take a look from uh, MTV Base West. Gone but can never be forgotten. Rest in peace. They shared this very this short video about Tosin Buckner. Let's take a look at that video. All right, so but before we go now, we get our guests to do something for us. <laughs> kind of like a freestyle. No. A couple of rhymes for no. us on a random beat. Why would you anybody ask me to rap? Do you know what I like to do? I like to sing. I like to count. One. I'm chilling with a hit. Eva. Two. Eva. I'm trying to find my bliss. Three. Eva. There must be something that rhymes with three. to the floor. Come on. Five. I think that I'm at five, six. <laughs> it rhymes with bliss and seven. And this is where I say that my name is Chelsea Buckner, but you can call me Kiba. Wow, we we'll miss you so much, Tosin. She was so full of life and energy. Uh, let's take a look at uh, her Walia Daytona Eye Slim Feet. Woke up to the sad news of Tosin Buckner's demise. Life really is not fair. How good people leave us untimely. Rest on icon. And then uh, we saw uh, more commentary from Jimmy Agbaje, uh, gubernatorial candidate of the PDP in Lagos State. I've just received the sad news of the passage of Tosin Buckner, area mama, due to complications from sickle cell. As a healthcare professional, I am well aware of the challenges of people living with sickle cell. Tosin fought a good fight. Davido and uh, Ron Town have also Twitter. Rest in peace, Tosin Buckner. 
Rest in peace, Tosin Bokno. Uh, they tweeted yesterday. And there is Asika, Tosin Bokno, one of the most genuine souls on radio. Life sucks, man. May she rest in peace. She was a huge supporter of everything I did from the jump. May God be with her family. On that that's very sad note, uh, we wrap up Kakaki Social this morning. Don't forget to follow the conversation on all our social media platforms at Kakaki Social on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. I am Ohimai Amaiza, your anchor on this segment. Kakaki Social returns tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Handing you over back now to Chikodi and Utive. All right, Ohimai, thanks um, for that. And quite sad indeed we lost an icon or perhaps um, right. uh, someone with a very unique personality talking about Tosi Bokno. Our heart indeed goes out to her family That's at right. this trying time. But see you tomorrow. Thank Do you very much. Have a wonderful day. And you too. Mm. Bye.